Have you ever wondered if intermittent fasting could be your secret weapon to weight loss? It's a question that's been gaining traction in recent years, as more and more people turn to this unique approach to shed those stubborn pounds. But what exactly is intermittent fasting? Simply put, it's an eating pattern that alternates between periods of eating and fasting. Rather than focusing on what you eat, it focuses on when you eat. This method has been around for centuries used by our ancestors when food was scarce. Today it's not just a survival strategy but a popular lifestyle choice for many seeking a leaner, healthier body. But like any diet plan it's not one size fits all and it's certainly not a magic bullet, it requires understanding, commitment and a tailored approach to get the best results. Intrigued? Let's dive into the top do's and don'ts of intermittent fasting for weight loss. So, you're interested in intermittent fasting. Here are some crucial do's to consider. First up, keep yourself well hydrated. It's important to drink plenty of water, herbal teas, and black coffee during fasting periods. This not only keeps you hydrated but also helps curb hunger. Next, when breaking your fast, always opt for nutrient-dense whole foods. Think fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains. These will nourish your body and keep you feeling satisfied longer. If you're new to intermittent fasting, ease into it. Start with shorter fasting windows and gradually increase the duration as your body adjusts. It's not a race and everyone's body is different. Aim for balanced meals that include a combination of carbohydrates, proteins, and healthy fats. This supports overall health and keeps your energy levels steady. Listening to your body is key. Pay attention to hunger and fullness cues. If you feel unwell or overly hungry, don't be afraid to adjust your fasting window or what you're eating. Remember, intermittent fasting is not a standalone solution. It works best when combined with regular exercise, adequate sleep, and stress management. Holistic well-being is the goal. And lastly, always consult with a healthcare professional or a registered dietitian before starting any fasting regimen. This ensures it's suitable for your individual health needs. Now that we've covered what you should do, let's talk about what you should avoid. While intermittent fasting can be beneficial, there are some pitfalls you should avoid. One common mistake is overeating during eating windows. Yes, intermittent fasting does allow for larger meals, but that doesn't mean you should consume excessive calories. It's not about packing all your daily food intake into one giant feast. Instead, aim for balanced, nutrient-dense meals, and remember, moderation is key. Another pitfall is relying on processed foods. Just because you're fasting, it doesn't give you a free pass to indulge in unhealthy choices. Instead of reaching for that bag of chips or sugary soda, opt for whole foods that provide essential nutrients. Speaking of nutrients, don't neglect your micronutrients. Vitamins and minerals are vital for your body's overall function. If you're not getting enough from your meals, consider taking a multivitamin. But always prioritize whole foods. Hydration is another crucial aspect often overlooked. Dehydration can sometimes be mistaken for hunger, leading you to break your fast prematurely. Make sure to drink plenty of water, herbal teas or even black coffee to stay well hydrated throughout your fasting period. And finally, don't push through extreme discomfort. If you experience severe discomfort, dizziness or other adverse effects, it's crucial to listen to your body and adjust your fasting protocol accordingly. And remember, what works for one person may not work for another. Remember, intermittent fasting is a tool, not a one-size-fits-all solution. We've covered a lot today, so let's quickly recap. We've discussed the do's and don'ts of intermittent fasting, emphasizing the importance of staying hydrated, opting for whole foods, and gradually adjusting your fasting window. Remember, balanced meals are key, and listening to your body is paramount. Combining intermittent fasting with a healthy lifestyle is your golden ticket to wellness. On the other hand, the don'ts highlighted the pitfalls to avoid. Overeating, relying on processed foods, neglecting micronutrients, and ignoring hydration can derail your fasting goals. Pushing through extreme discomfort isn't a sign of discipline, it's a red flag that something needs to change. And remember, intermittent fasting isn't one size fits all. Pay attention to how your body responds and adjust accordingly. Before starting any fasting regimen, it's crucial to consult with a healthcare professional or a registered dietitian. This isn't just about weight loss, it's about your overall health. If you found this video helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe for more health and wellness tips. Remember, your health is in your hands.